Welcome guys to another episode of Trash or Pass, where we see if a game is worth your hard-earned money or deserves to be thrown in the trash. Today we're going to be looking at Second Extinction, so let's see what the devs have to say about this. Second Extinction is an intense three-player cooperative shooter where your goal is to wipe out the mutated dinosaurs that have taken over the planet. Teamwork is vital as you adopt the role of one of the survivors, using a unique combination of weapons, abilities and skills to take on the vast number of enemies. Fight through a maelstorm of bullets, bombs, teeth, claws and gore, it's up to you to reclaim Earth. So I'm playing this on a PC with a 1080 Ti, uh, I believe it's on Xbox as well, but yeah I have to say it ran it ran pretty well, um, I did experience a few frame drops when there was like a lot of shit happening on the screen, you know explosions and loads of dinosaurs, but other than that it was fine, uh, my fiance who I was playing with she was using like a mid range PC and it ran pretty decent for her with medium to high settings so that's all good there. I have to say, I actually really enjoyed this game. I did have my doubts, thinking it was another one of them games that tries to do the Left 4 Dead thing and then just kind of fails and flops. But it does stand on its own. So pretty much, Earth has been taken over by mutated dinosaurs and it seems like the humans live in space now. So they're going to be, they're sent down to Earth and you have to pretty much push the dinosaurs back and kind of retake Earth. Uh, you do this by completing uh, certain quests. This can be researching the dinos, uh, blowing up their nests, or even recovering, you know, a fallen aircraft. With each mission you complete, you lower the dino threat in the area a little bit. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. So, the map has different regions, and each region on it has a different threat level. Green being the low, meaning less dinos, it's going to make things a lot easier. Uh, red means it's a hard zone, you're going to be facing a lot more dinos, bigger ones at that. So you have to work with the whole community to change these threats. So just say a whole bunch of you complete a load of missions in a red area, it can be lowered to an amber area or even green over the time. However, if you ignore some threats, say the green area, and you just ignore that, no one goes there, that will bump up to an amber and it will get harder. And I love the whole idea of you know the whole community coming together and actually having an impact on this and you don't have to engage and rely on them all it's like you all just do your thing and you you know you do more missions in the red area when you see fit i think that's a really cool system so even though the system is really cool and i do love the idea of it we played over 10 hours and i never saw any of the area threat level change so i'm not too sure how well it works maybe i just i was just unlucky and not many people were playing it at that time also when i was in the dangerous areas i didn't feel like it was that much danger like more dangerous than it was in the lower ones that might just be you know because i'm a pro at this game and i'm amazing um i don't know i just feel like maybe there's some little adjustments and balances they might need to do so this game is meant to be played with a group of three of yours uh we just had the two of us and it worked it worked fine we didn't really struggle too much i mean to begin with, the game is hard. It, it took us a while to find our footing. We died a whole bunch of times. But once we understood what we was doing, we kind of just flew for it. We did really well. There were times that we thought, you know, it would have been nice to have a third person here, but it never stopped us enjoying the game. However, if you're thinking about getting this and playing it solo, it's I, I wouldn't recommend it. It is possible to play it solo, but you're going to struggle a lot. And you're gonna be, you're gonna need to be really good at it just to stay alive. Um, I feel like it'd be more stressful than enjoyable. So, if you don't have any friends that have this game or just have no friends at all, this probably isn't the game for you. So let's talk about the dinosaurs. They are freaking so cool. I, I love the designs on them. They, they look amazing. They look scary and terrifying. So the game is classed as early access, so there are going to be more dinosaurs added. But for now, we have a nice handful. Uh, let's have a quick look through them. So we have the raptors. They're the main ones you're going to be killing. They attack fast and in numbers, but they're easily killed. And I do want to say their design is... It looks a lot like the Indoraptor from Jurassic World. 
very, very similar. I'm wondering if, you know, uh, Universal know about this because they there is a lot of similarities, but uh, they do look cool. Um, they have these poison ones, which will uh, spit poison at you, uh, kind of like a Dilophosaurus. Uh, they have these electric ones that are so annoying. They can uh, go invisible, they can shock you, they can flashbang you. They are the worst. There's a there's one called the Watcher, which will just call a horde in if you don't shoot it, like, straight away. And then you have the big boys. So we have, like, a Triceratops dude. Uh, he will charge you, knock you out the way. They are kind of annoying. Then you got the Ankylosaurus, which are just covered in armor and the only way to kill them is to blow them up flip them on the back and shoot their fleshy undercarriage and then you have the main attraction the t-rex now he is scary as shit and he is huge and he may look slow but boy can he jump he can jump and he'll be right in your face before you know it this guy is the alpha predator and you will need to work together to bring him down he is crazy, but he looks absolutely amazing. So even though there's not like a whole bunch of uh, different creatures, there's a nice variation to keep you on your toes. Sometimes you'll literally just be dealing with five or six raptors. Then other times you'll be taking on a whole horde with 40 plus raptors. Then the trikes and ankies join in. And then a T-Rex after that. And it just, it turns to pure chaotic fun. The characters, on the other hand, I was not impressed by. There's only four to pick from uh, right now. Uh, again, they're going to be adding some more later. But each character has its own class. Meaning, if I like the look of one of them, I'm also going to have to like the class. I prefer to pick a character, then build the class with him or her. I, just, I don't like when there's a preset class for a character it just annoys me a little bit so they each come with two skills as well and i have to say some of the skills suck and they make just a couple of the characters not worth playing so there's this big lady with a massive machine gun and she is just terrible the gun takes forever to load i mean it's a mini gun so it would do it takes forever to load runs out of ammo way too quickly and it also overheats her skill is placing down a tiny flimsy electric fence that I did not find helpful at all. Uh, the other lady, I liked her setup, but her skills again sucked. She had the ability to move fast, which I never needed to use. Uh, we had another guy that had a grenade launcher. He was alright. Uh, I didn't really enjoy him too much, but my fiancé used him pretty much throughout. Uh, his abilities were pinning dinos, so you could see where they all were, which was helpful. And there was like a laser beam attack, you'd, you know, ring up and be like, yo, we need a laser beam, and it would shoot it down. Then there's Jürgen, who I loved. His abilities were sticky bombs, you can chuck them on like a trike or an anki, and then you shoot it, and it will blow it up, and it was just so helpful. Even if there's a horde of creatures, drop it in the middle, shoot it, everything goes boom. And then he has an ability to like mask his sense, uh, his scent, and like go invisible. So this was really helpful when you need to heal. You like they'll all stop attacking you. You just use it, run, heal up. You're all good. Get out of a sticky situation. So gameplay wise, I did get some hints of Left 4 Dead. Uh, things such as you know pressing a button to open a big door. Uh, the door would slowly open or shut and that would uh, summon a horde of dinos that were going to come attack you and you kind of just have to fend them off. Uh, the end of a mission, you have to run to your camp. Um, this was very Left 4 Dead. You kind of like you'd run to your safe room or you'd wait for a helicopter to pick you up. On this, you call your uh, ship to come get you. It will say, you know, you've got It'll be there in 1 minute 30 seconds and during that 1 minute 30 seconds every dino on that map is going to come towards you and you've got to defend them off until you know your your ride arrives and you can get sent home. So even though you have like a main mission to do, the world is actually free to explore. You can go wherever you want so it does have this like sort of open world vibe to it which you kind of do have mini side quests I guess. Uh, there will be things like finding um, containers which you can send back up to, I guess, like your big spaceship. Um, getting dino eggs and using them for researching, capturing raptors in traps, sending them up for research. So there's a lot to do um, instead of just doing the main mission. And these give you extra loot and science points. Now you can use these to upgrade your weapons and make them stronger and faster, which is really good. There's also contracts which you unlock, I think, level 5 or something. 
And these are pretty much like challenges. There's things such as uh, killing six dinos without reloading or getting 25 headshots. Again, they give you rewards. Um, I think you get better stuff with them. I'm sure I got an emote and some skins from some of them. Um, so, yeah, that's really cool to do. But, yeah, honestly, just taking down hundreds of dinos, it's so satisfying. Just, you can blow off all their body parts. And just seeing, like, arms and legs and tails and heads flying all over the place, bodies ragdolling, explosions just everywhere. It's chaotic. But, my God, it is so much fun. As it is an early access game, I was expecting a few bugs, and there are a bunch. Um, that could be from dinos or even myself just being launched into the air randomly, finding yourself on top of an airplane hangar and being like, how the frick did I get up here? Uh, I had instances of dinos like sort of teleporting and glitching. This happened with a Rex. We were in a cave and the Rex was behind a rock, then all of a sudden he was like next to me and it was kind of weird. We had a really bad bug where we was doing a mission and my fiance died. Now, normally when you die, you just respawn at a camp. Uh, she had no option to respawn anywhere, so she had to leave the game. And then when she rejoined, she spawned under the map with some dinos that were under there as well for some reason. But she couldn't move, she couldn't jump, she couldn't shoot, couldn't do anything. So I had to like get close to finishing the level and I thought, we'll try and see if we can get her to spawn like when I get on the ship. And it didn't work and she ended up just being like kicked from the game and she didn't get any rewards at all, even though she completed the majority of the story. So yeah, it was kind of annoying there. Also, we did play over 10 hours and uh, we kind of, that was enough time to do all the main missions a couple times over. And after that, it did seem a little bit repetitive. Just a little bit. The missions aren't... 100% the same like if you're looking for a rex nest every time it's gonna be in a different location but you kind of know what's coming and what's happening and it did kind of I wouldn't say it got boring not uh, like boring because I don't know everything's always a little bit different but I need more different it's a little too similar so I feel like that's something they might want to adjust now Again, it's early access. They will be adding a lot more missions, a lot more stuff to do. So that should be sorted very soon. So that's Second Extinction, the dinosaur shooter inspired by Left 4 Dead. Lots of fun, lots of dinos, lots of explosions. So Second Extinction, you get yourself a pass.